Good morning, guys. It is Friday of the first week here, first full week, let's put it that way. Um, today we find out where um, we're going on outreach, so that's pretty exciting. And um, we're going to go do temple tours. I don't know what exactly that entails, but I guess we're going to be touring temples. So right now we have intercessor, intercession, intercessory, intercession, and then we go from there. So come along and see what you can see. Oh, uh, you guys want to see something really pretty? Take a look at this. Like, is that not just gorgeous? I get to walk over this every day. And then here's some of our campus. Here's our lower campus. There's more of the water. That's the guy's dorm and the eating hall. The building in the back there, closest to the trees, is our dorm. So, here we go. Let's go. No, videoing. Oh, videoing? Oh. Yeah. Hey. Oh. This is Kelsey and this is... Allie. Allie. Yeah. This is my Jen. <laughs> she is my favorite. She's a little cutie. So, okay, whatever. <laughs> so we are headed to Temple Tours, so let's go check this out. out. I hope I was weird oh, enough. Oh, Candace, you want to say hi? Hi. That's Candace. Hi. And Allie. What? Yeah, there's room. And Trent. Someone called me at. Who's next to Trent? I can't see. Oh, Amber. Hi. And Wade. And Andrea. Andrea's not gonna turn around. Andrea's. Ah ha! And Emily. Emily. Hannah. Okay, that's everybody. Wait. We are at the Jewish synagogue. And there's Garrett. Here's the. Inside the Jewish synagogue. I, I, I was it's an awkward pause. This is a, a rebellious <laughs> rabbi. <laughs> and, uh, so thanks for having us today. Yeah, Bye. welcome. Thank you for being here. I was late in my morning prayers in prayer guard, but I wanted to show you guys a, a Torah scroll. But I don't, don't know if you've ever seen one before. And um, I like showing it to groups of Christians because they're always like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so what we have here is the, the five books of Moses, the first five books of, of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Um, and uh, so if you can come in really close, I want to show you some letters. Don't, don't be afraid to come up right next to it. So this is all made out of parchment. Um, this, in other words, this is animal skin. So every Torah is made out of a kosher animal's skin. Um, so I'm going to ask you to, can you hold that for a second? So you probably know that Hebrew goes right to left. Um, so here we are in the, in the beginning of the book of Shemot, um, which in English, is the book of Exodus. We call it Shemot because the first two words are Ve'ele Shemot. Okay? So, I want to show you some cool things here that um, are fun. So, if you remember, um, nod your head, when Jesus, when Jesus says, um, one jot or tittle shall not pass from the law until all is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Some nods. Uh oh, you people better be reading your book. <laughs> of Jewish history, all of our shared history, we, we were living under Christian rulers, and we were often forbidden from having any interactions with Christians. So there were meetings happening, there definitely were conversations between Christians and Jews happening, but they were illegal underground very often. So for example, you've probably heard of um, the expulsion from Spain when, when the Christian that, that voted to merge and become one religious movement. It was the Unitarians, 
and the Universalists. They were separate religious movements in America that both dated from the earliest days in American history. And in 1961, uh, they voted to, to, to merge and become the Unitarian Universalist Association. And if you look at the chalice above my head, uh, you'll see two rings going around the, the chalice. And those two rings represent the two traditions of Unitarianism and Universalism that came together when we formed a, uh, a new religious association. And the reason that the, uh, you know, if, if two circles came together and they're the same size, if they just kept coming together, they would come together and you would only see one circle. But the way these circles come together, they don't come together completely. There's a little bit of overlap. And the reason, and the, the thinking there is that uh, if, if the circles come completely together, then they become exactly alike. But each of the traditions, the Unitarian and the Universalist tradition, each want to preserve a, a certain sense of their own identity. And it's the same thing when you join our congregation. Your circle comes and, and merges with all the other circles, but there's a sliver of that circle that sort of stays outside that's unique and distinct. And, and that symbolizes the fact that we are a, a very diverse religious community. Guys, guess what? I just found out what country I'm going to. I'm going to Uganda and Tanzania. Africa! <laughs> I'm so excited. It's been like a dream of mine for, gosh, since I was a kid to go to Africa. And that's where I get to go. Oh, my heart is so full right now. I can't even express my feelings. I have an awesome team and I'll post some pictures of my team and everything else um, in just a second. But yeah, we're going to Africa, guys.